Next is a lecture on the Vedanta Sutra given by His Divine Grace A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded in February of 1970 in Los Angeles. This Gauri Sampradaya did not take uh, uh, unnecessary trouble again. Uh, the Acharya Sampradaya, if my previous Acharya has written something, so uh, he will not touch those points, but he will write something which uh, can develop further. That is Acharya. Not that uh, chewing the chew. Uh, somebody has written something and he is also writing the same thing. No. If he at all writes, he will write something which will beautify or glorify or magnify the former ideas. That is it. So this Vaishnava Sampradaya did not write commentary on the Vedanta Sutra because they knew that already bears there our original guru, he has already written uh, Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended and it is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhasa Ayam Brahma Sutrana. This is the real commentary on the Brahma Sutra. But those are smarta Brahmins. Uh, they objected in Jayapur. In the Jayapur, uh, there is Govinda Siva, temple of Govindaji. The king of Jaipur took away when Aurangzeb was harassing Hindus and he was breaking some of the Hindu temple. At that time, from Vrindavan, the Govinda Murti, not only Govinda, Govinda Gopinath and Madan Mahan, these Murtis were taken from Vrindavan to Jaipur. The king of Jaipur, he was Vaishnava. Uh, so along with the deity, the priest or the worship, I mean to say, uh, those who are engaged in the uh, temple worship, they are also taken. That is the system. So uh, they were, as usual, worshipping, but some of the smarta Brahmins, they objected that Gauriya Sampradaya is not bona fide. Uh, why not bona fide? Uh, just like Dr. Stahl objected that this Krishna consciousness movement is not Vedic. Therefore, I immediately protested. No, it is saint person very. So, uh, when the smart Brahmins, they objected that this Gaudiya Sampradha is not Vedic. Uh, how one is Vedic? Any Sampradha, if you inaugurate some party, then he must comment on the Vedanta Sutra, otherwise that part is not bona fide. That is Vedic rule. One must understand what is Brahma Sutra. So because there was no particular commentary on the Brahma Sutra by the Gauriya Sampradaya on account of presence of Srimad Bhagavatam, so they objected. So this information was given at that time to Vrindavan. Vrindavan, Vishnu Chakravarti, you have heard the name of Vishnu Chakravarti. He is also Acharya and was the great scholar. So all the Vaishnavas requested him that uh, please uh, uh, write a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra, otherwise they are objecting that we are not Vaidik. At that time he was very old, Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur. So he thought it wise. He asked this Maladev Vidyabhusan, he happened to be just like his disciple, that I am very old now, uh, uh, I cannot go out of Vrindavan. So you take out this job and write one commentary on the Vedanta Sutra immediately. So he took out the matter. He has written many other books, 
Baladev did Davasan. So he immediately started for uh, Jaipur, Govindaji's temple. And this is the Acharya, that unless I am authorized, unless I am empowered, how I can write? This is Vaishnava. Not that uh, because I have got some ABCD knowledge, I can write something. No. Uh, just like one uh, civil service officer, Mr. Gupta, sent me one commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. Perhaps you know, we have delivered that, returned that manuscript. So I immediately pointed out that there are so many discrepancies. We cannot publish this. Uh, so they are taken back. So this big, he thought that because he is ICS officer, civil service officer, very big officer in India, uh, therefore he can write commentary on Bhagavad Gita. These nonsense things are going on. Uh, anyone, he has got some ABCD knowledge, he thinks that I, am, I can write and something. No. You cannot write anything unless you are authorized by the disciples. You have no access in it. So this Baladev Vidyabhushan went to, uh, I am to say, Jaipur and for three days continually he uh, laid himself flat just like we offer obeisances in that way without taking any food and water, asking permission from Govind, whether I shall write. Of course he was ordered still to confirm it that Vishnu Chakravarti has asked me to write, but if you confirm it, then I shall be in that. So Govindaji informed me, yes, you write, I give you uh, order, I immediately write. So he began to write this Bhasa commentary of Vedanta Sutra and it came out very, very successful. Govinda Bhasa commentary on Vedanta Sutra available, this is in Sanskrit. But we are describing the same conclusion in our different books. In Srimad Bhagavat also the same conclusion is there. You don't require to read separately, uh, but uh, because this Smartha Brahmins challenge that you are not Vaidhi, because you have no commentary on the Vedanta Sutra, so this Valadev Vidyabhasan gave us the Govinda Bhas. Of course, other Vaishnava Acharyas like Ramanucharya, Madhacharya, they are given commentary on Bhagavad Gita, but we uh, Madhva Gauriya Sampradaya, uh, we are benedicted by this Baladev Acharya Prabhu. Uh, and his life is that uh, he, he was, uh, he appeared in the family of a Vaishya community. Uh, <coughs> his forefathers were agriculturists. But he became a, a great devotee and great, great scholar in Sanskrit, and he has got his commentaries on Bhagavad Gita and Vedanta Bhasha, uh, uh, and um, he has written many other books, uh, all in Sanskrit. So his but the appearance there is today. So it is our duty to commemorate the memor I mean, the activities of the Acharyas and offer our respect and ask from them benediction for our progress. That is the system. Therefore we have listed the appearance and disappearance of the Acharyas. We should take advantage of these auspicious dates and uh, offer our respect to the Acharya. Thank you very much.